MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? It's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Just wanted to show you the new update of the Machine 1.7 and the Complete 8 browser integration. So, Native Instruments put out a video showing kind of how it looks from the hardware. I wanted to show it from the software side so you can um, understand some of the things that changed. One of the first things you'll probably notice is the disk and library tabs have been merged. So, it just says disk. If you click it, it'll go to the disk. If you unclick it, it goes to your library. So you also notice that there's a new user bank. So anytime you save something like a kid or a plug-in preset or anything, it'll automatically go to your user bank. So it's easier to find instead of having to go search for it and tag it yourself. Everything will automatically go in your user bank. So that was pretty cool. Um, you can see right there. And then you'll notice you got an, a little keyboard tab, which I call the instrument tab, and then an effects tab. So under here is where all your complete and all your plugins and everything are going to show up. So you can see I got a user bank for my plugins that I've imported. And then you got all the complete stuff. So there's Absinthe, and you can see the type is broken down by the banks that show up in the Absinthe browser. So, you know, the 4, 5, Legacy, then Twilight, Spectrum Expansions, and then it's broken down by, you know, subtype. So it's pretty straightforward. You see right there, FMH's got its banks and then the subtypes. Contact's got the main sections of the library, band, choir, orchestral, urban beats, vintage world, and then it's broken down by that. So, I mean, it's pretty pretty straightforward. And the stuff loads pretty quick, especially contact is, is actually a lot faster than I expected it to be. So, and that's always good. You can see all your massive banks in there. So, I mean, unless you really get in and load stuff quickly, find stuff across the, you know, the whole complete library rather quickly. And there's a lot of stuff that I don't actually have in here that I uninstalled myself. But stuff like Studio Drummer shows up. All the uh, pianos, they show up. So everything shows up pretty much, you know, like it's supposed to. It's, it's really, really simple, really slick. So, you know, you can see it's just... It doesn't really take long to load at all. So there's vintage organs. I would have liked to see vintage organs broken down even a little bit more, you know, maybe by how they have it inside the actual library, like by the types and stuff like gospel, jazz, stuff like that. But, you know, it's, yeah, I mean, I, I still dig it. It's easy to still find what you need and you don't have to go through the actual interface. So it makes it a lot, it makes it a lot quicker loading your different libraries now. So yeah, that's pretty much the pretty much the updated browser, man. Like I said, the you got the effects tab, you can see your guitar rig stuff in there. So yeah, the razor, prism, absinthe, you still got the factory stuff, and then of course your user stuff. So that and like I said, your instrument tab and then your disk and library tab is merged. Those are pretty much the main updates to the browser. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of what it looks like now. So like I said, if you you can find all your stuff in here if you want to put it on, you know, auto load or whatever. It's, it just loads really quick. So let me know what you think. It's your boy St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Checking out the new Machine 1.7. Oh, I actually loaded a Reactor Ensemble. 1.7 browser integration with Complete 8. I'll see y'all later, fam. Peace.